are talking about how TBD is facilitating off-ramp to Africa. And ladies and gentlemen, to handle this session is none other than Emily Chu and Chris Morris. A round of applause for them as they come up on stage. We are the best. Hello, hello. Welcome back from lunch. I am Angie Jones from TBD, and I have the pleasure of facilitating this wonderful panel. I'm going to quickly introduce them. We have Chris Maurice, who's the co founder and CEO of Yellow Card. We have Emily Chu. Oh, wait, they switched spaces on me. We have Phoebe, who is the software engineer extraordinaire at TBD. And then we have Emily Chu, co-founder and COO of TBD. Welcome, welcome. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. Emily, TBD is working on something pretty special, the TBDX protocol. If you could give us a brief explanation of what this protocol is. Yeah, we're so excited. We originally published the TBDEX white paper in November of 2021. And at the time, a lot of the challenges that we were seeing around global liquidity rested in the questions around, why is it that if a bank in Nigeria is trying to move funds to a neighboring bank in Ghana, do they have to actually transfer their Naira into the US dollar and go through a US bank before being able to then transfer their funds into CD in a neighboring country, right? That makes no sense, this dated system of payments and correspondent banks where you are incurring fees, going through middlemen, moving money off of the continent before moving it back to your neighbor. You could drive from Lagos to Accra with the briefcase full of cash faster than this legacy process allows for. Um, and outside of the banking system, just speaking to so many entrepreneurs and just the cost of moving funds across the continent um, from friends of ours who run accelerators and are trying to move money and paying sometimes upwards of 10, 20 percent. Um, and the smaller the amount you're trying to send, the more expensive, right? And so we thought there must be a better way, a way that still allows people to benefit from the legacy fiat system but also allows way more people to benefit from a decentralized system that enables participants to directly transact with each other in a trusted way, um, in a compliant way, but without all of the friction that the traditional system in, entails. Um, and so that was where TBDEX was born, the white paper, which you can all go online and download. And today we're really excited that we're making the white paper real uh, through this technical preview that we're announcing with our first set of SDKs, um, our first set of network participants. Um, yeah. <laughs> and the first use cases where, um, you know, we actually ran a test with Chris and his team at Yellow Card, and um, it wasn't even a test, it was in production, um, where we were able to move CDs into Naira um, and do so in under 50 seconds, um, compliantly and at a fraction of the cost and speed of time and without going through the legacy system that we see today. And so we see huge promise of these technologies for commerce, for payments, um, in leveraging Bitcoin and decentralized identity and technologies to enable people to discover counterparties, um, discover on and off ramps globally, and really unlock the promise of the incredible entrepreneurs and individuals across the continent um, to their full potential. Beautiful, beautiful. Now I hear today is developer's day, so I do want to get into the technical details of TBDEX. Phoebe, software engineer extraordinaire, tell us how TBDEX works. Sure, Angie. I'm just going to grab the slide pointer real quick um, because I think this is a lot easier to visualize if you have some graphics. All right. Cool. So let's get into it. Um, TBDEX is an open source messaging protocol aimed at discovering liquidity and exchanging assets. So at the moment, we're primarily focused on currency exchange, but there's nothing specific or limiting to in the protocol. It means that it could be used for the exchange of real world goods as well. 
So under the hood, uh, we're utilizing decentralized technologies. The first is decentralized identifiers, which basically represent who you are on a decentralized network to establish identity, as well as verifiable credentials, which are cryptographically verifiable to establish trust. So it's actually up to each individual counterparty on the network to establish the minimum amount of required information to transact with them, which makes it very flexible. So we have three main actors on TBDEX. The first is the credential issuer. So they're the ones who actually mint the VCs and that could represent that a customer has been KYC'd or that an individual is not sanctioned, amongst other things. Second, we have the wallets themselves. These are fintech apps which integrate with PFIs and also present VCs as required. So these could be both self-custody wallets as well as custodial wallets which manage the relationship with PFIs and uh, issuers on behalf of their customer. And then finally, of course, we have the participating financial institution who is actually providing liquidity. So in the case of Yellow Card offering GHS for BTC or USDC uh, as an off-ramp, they're functioning as a PFI in that case. So now let's walk through an end-to-end -end flow really quick. Um, we start with an offering, which is a resource that the PFI publishes for public consumption. And this is usually used as a part of the discovery process. So Alice is going to query, and an example of this is an offering which shows the currency that the PFI is offering, the currency that the PFI will accept, as well as any required information. So Alice is going to resolve the PFI's did to find a service endpoint, which is really just a URI representing an endpoint that Alice can go to to fetch offerings. Let's say that she's interested in a specific currency pair. That kicks off the TBDEX exchange. So she wants to get a guaranteed rate, so she's gonna first send the PFI a request for quote, including any VCs that the offering requires. Once the PFI receives the RFQ, it's gonna send back a quote, and that's got that locked in rate, and if Alice is happy with the rate, then quite simply she can accept the quote and that sends an order message off to the PFI. PFI then just executes the payment and updates Alice on the status via order status messages. And finally, once the payment reaches a terminal state, it sends a close. I would just add that this can work for any currency pair, so this is pretty powerful in that it allows you to discover any counterparty on the network, um, really bridge between the world of fiat and the world of Bitcoin and digital currencies, and use decentralized identifiers and verifiable credentials to establish that trust and compliance layer across regulatory jurisdictions. I love this, I love this. So Chris, Yellow card is already pretty prominent in African countries. Uh, can you tell us what this unlocks for you? Yes, uh, let me tell you, my sister, I've seen some very cool things in my day. I think this is one of the coolest. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really exciting for us to be the first PFI on the network and, and you know, to be able to be part of history, frankly, in, in terms of uh, what, what TBD and, and TBDEX are doing. And I, you know, look, I know this is the, the Bitcoin conference and we're all Bitcoin people here and, and uh, you know, Bitcoin is great. But uh, I think there's, there's something really special about the fact that it's happening in Africa because I think we need to be honest that Bitcoin's not solving problems in other parts of the world, right? Bitcoin is great, but it's not exactly making people's lives better on an everyday basis in the United States or in, in Europe, right? Whereas uh, Bitcoin and, and stable coins more, more broadly uh, are really impacting people in a practical day-to-day -day way, the way that people do business, the way that people move money, the way that people interact with the, the world around them on the continent. And so there's something, there's something really special about the fact that uh, you know, TBD is, has chosen us as the, the first PFI and has started this in Africa because this is just where it actually makes sense for, for stable coins and, and for Bitcoin. And I think, uh, you know, for, for anybody that's, uh, that's wondering about uh, some of the benefits that, uh, you know, TBDEX and, and the network will have, I, I can tell you from a company standpoint, we've done over 100 bespoke integrations with banks and, and mobile money players across the African continent. 
and bespoke integrations suck, and most vendors suck to work with, is the truth. And uh, the, you know, the benefit of TBDEX is that you are able to essentially code once and have access to players across the world, right? Uh, obviously, they're starting in Africa, but you know, this is going to be a global network where you will have access to on and off ramps across the world with essentially one integration, right? So instead of you know, having to do bespoke integrations for you know, 200 plus countries, one integration, you're able to access 20 countries in Africa through us, and you'll be able to access the rest of the world soon enough. Amazing, amazing. And it doesn't have to just be yellow card, right? Any PFI, which is, again, participating financial institution, can join the network. Any wallet developers, you have a wallet and you want to be able to provide liquidity from multiple PFIs, you can also join this network. Thank you so much for this. Um, if anyone wants to learn more, you can come to our workshop, which is immediately after this in workshop room number one, and we'll give like a hands-on demo uh, and show you how this works. Also, here uh, are some CTAs for you. If you scan the QR code, you will go to our website where you can find more information about TBDEX. Also, we're having a party tonight. So if you want to come and hang out with us, be sure to find one of us or uh, any other TBD members in the audience. All right, find these folks. Matthias, stand up so they can see you. You can't miss this guy. <laughs> All right? So find him and we'll get you hooked up. Thank you so much. Thank you.